join us for the official Walt Disney Studio tour in Burbank, California. During the tour, we were only allowed to take photos. Please enjoy our photo journey. For more information on booking this tour, visit the D23 website. We'll put a link in the description below. Welcome to part two of our Walt Disney Studios tour. If you haven't seen the first part, we'll put a link in the description down below. Now let's take a look at Walt's office. The first room that we went into was where his secretary sat, and then there was also a display case in this room that had a bunch of his awards that he had won. So now it's time to go into Walt's office. There are actually two offices, and the first one that we went into is the office that has the piano in it. So this is the office that the Sherman brothers would come in and play songs for Walt. This is where he would entertain people that would come and see him. There were all kinds of photos on the walls, a bunch of knickknacks behind his desk, and then of course the piano. When we walked in, the song Feed the Birds was playing and it just gave me the chills that that song was playing when we walked into Walt's office. The next area we went into was Walt's working office. You can see that this was his actual working office with all of his documents around his desk. On one of the walls, there was a picture of Disneyland and it showed future things that were coming. And you'll notice that the Haunted Mansion, it says future home of 1,001 ghosts, but we all know that did get changed to 999 happy haunts. This office also had some family photos in it. There was also a small kitchen in there, and these glasses that I took a picture of were really cool. The next room we went into had some of Walt's mementos, and then also a bunch of photos from when they were buying the land to build the studios, and I really liked the employee identification card. Next, we were off to the Legends Courtyard. I was excited to see this area because I wanted to see the Seven Dwarfs in real life. Just seen it in pictures, it was nice to see that. There's also three statues here. There's one of Walt and Mickey, just like in the parks, and then there's the other one of Roy and Minnie, which is in Walt Disney World, and then there is a Legends statue that is a tribute to all the Legends that are around the courtyard. So we did get to spend a lot of time in this area and that was nice because I wanted to walk around and look at all the plaques for the Disney Legends. I did take quite a few photos of the plaques, but here are just a few of my favorites. The ones I liked the most were Julie Andrews and Mary Blair. I was very excited to see those. Next we went into the Disney Archives area and it was really neat to come in here and see everything that they had on display. There was a desk that Walt used at the first Hyperion office. There was a bust of Walt. There was a menu that showed the prices of the food at the little employee commissary. It was just really neat to see all the old Disney stuff. There was also a display case that had like maps of the studio, an employee newsletter, and other things that they would give to employees. They had some Disney toys on display. There were some strange things, but then it was kind of cool to see like a bed knobs and broomstick, lunchbox, a bunch of old games, and then they had some really cute figurines. In the lobby of the Disney Archives, there's a multi-plane camera, and this is a very big camera. I was kind of astonished at how big it was. I've only seen pictures of it, but to see it in person, it's truly amazing. While we were in the animation building, I did see a photo that showed everybody that worked there in the early 1950s, and a majority of them were women. And then they also had some display cases of what they used to paint those animation cells, and then other items that showed the process of how they did that painting. It was really neat. The last couple of places we went by were the film archives and then the studio store. We were able to go into the store and purchase some items, which we did, and then after that our tour was over. If you like Disney and like behind the scenes stuff, this is the tour for you. I can't wait for us to take it again. 
If you could do us a big favor and hit that like and subscribe button, we would appreciate it. And also check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.